Fertile Ground is a, it's, first of all, it's very different than anything I've done before. Mm -hmm. It's like very quiet, dark, moody, suspenseful, like sort of psychological thriller, ghosty kind of movie. And once once we got into writing it and once I got into filming it, it was it occurred to me that, wow, I'm making one of these movies that's like I used to grow up with in the 70s, like Burnt Offerings or The mm -hmm. Haunting of Julia or The Reincarnation of Peter Proud. So people who are, who are going expecting gallons of blood mm -hmm. might be in for a little bit of a surprise, but it's truly something I've never done before. And I grew so much as a director when making it. Like, I couldn't rely on any of the stuff that I usually do. I couldn't just shoot gallons of blood in the air or, or chop off an arm or whatever. I really had to, it was really an actor piece. And my lead actress, Leisha, was just, was just incredible. She was just absolutely mind blowing to work with. And so much of the movie is her, yeah. like just, just alone and lonely and her suffering this psychological damage for, from this uh, traumatic event. Where a lot of it came from for me was uh, the character of Emily and really, um, you know, thinking about her and how she was coping with this, um, this loss she experiences at the beginning of the movie. And it's the, I'd say Emily is the closest character to me I've ever written. I mean, there, I drew on a lot of sort of while I haven't had the same experiences the character has, I drew on a lot of the, the feelings and fears about when you're, you're coping with a, a loss or something affects your relationship, you know, what happens if things go wrong, you know, am I going to be better again, those sorts of things. Um, so well, it was very personal. You know, we've never done anything that's even semi-autobiographical, yeah. and this one is, and which is like I said, strange for a horror movie, you know. Thank God Night of the Demons wasn't semi-autobiographical yeah. or, or autopsy for that matter. Um, <laughs> I mean, this movie involved a lot more sort of digging deep and finding, mm -hmm. and finding these sort of really raw emotional moments.